This is the fenugreek methi. This is called VB little pumpkin. This is for the curry pumpkin or you can cook with any other stuff. It doesn't grow more than this size. It's just over a tennis ball size. These carrots are basically sown in uh, March. Look at the size of them. These two are for my parrots. This is the first harvest of my kale this year. The right hand side is called uh, uh, black knee dero, eroding block, whatever this variety. And uh, this one is uh, curly dwarf kale. Look who has come out today. This is my first sweet corn harvest. These are the beans uh, varieties I harvested today. On the right hand side is the dwarf beans, three different colors. On the left hand side this is the climbing beans. These are the few fruits, uh, I think the last batch of the blueberries there. And then last batch of gooseberries. And a few tomatoes for the parrots and one sweet corn for uh, my parrot as well. So the final harvest of the main crop of my onions are these are banana shallots i sown them from the seed i put around uh, i would say 25 30 seeds then uh, i got harvest of 20 nearly and these are my red baron so i put around 50 seeds i got around 35 to 40 and um, those are my storage onions bit for champion and uh, there are some other uh, variety called the highlander so there's around 40 45 so these are basically sown in january 2nd week now are exactly on the 2nd of january first week actually so then uh, i planted them out in the month of april end of april to be specific and i was supposed to harvest them a uh, bit earlier maybe a week ago but i didn't get the time so finally i managed to harvest and i get them for uh, i would say like a six months hope so as i mentioned a couple of times to see whether it's not good these are the results some of them Rex means I'm not going to throw them out. They are split. Some of them have got a fungi on the bottom. I'm going to clean them straight away and then use them in the cooking. These are my four different varieties of tomatoes. On the left hand side, pink color is a uh, uh, Italian variety. And this one is a uh, French variety, Marmando. Uh, these two round shaped ones in red color they are uh, primbella and uh, this like a plum uh, these are artesian mix this is my first batch of blackberries and uh, many of them are fell down because i didn't harvest them for long i should have harvested two weeks back maybe three weeks back lost a lot of them but uh, there are plenty out there in the plant I only have three plants anyway finally today I'm harvesting my main crop potatoes because of the pink patches and the light pink one is called rose tree there are two rows and uh, eight plants each row and still there are a quarter row to go and these are the ones I somehow poke through while digging them and this is the wastage so I'll be storing this for the rest of the year and until next harvest I do from my pots in April these are boulder beetroots you can see in their yellow color they are very fantastic in taste compared to the normal ones and usual go just these three on the right hand side of the marrow and some of the beans 
and um, this is the variety of chili called padron and some tomatoes from blight resistant variety called primbella the beauty of the beetroot is we cook leaves as a spinach the taste is same as spinach with a bit of lemony flavor in it maybe tamarind it's lovely today's harvest is uh, aubergines different varieties of chilies and look at these peppers this side really beautiful and the big ones this is um, cut and come again uh, korean variety called calypso this will go to the freezer straight away this is uh, amaranthus totakora uh, all the leaves can be freezed straight away generally i wash them and dry the all the water dry in the sense just leave it in the air so they all get dried and the next day morning you put in the freezer preferably you do it in the evening washing but i do it in allotment before i go home then put them on a mat and uh, put that towel or something all the water will be soaked into the towel and the uh, next day morning we just put it in the freezer straight away this is the mint mix of british mint and uh, indian mint and vietnamese mint of course all of them smells and tastes same but slight variations so this is straight to the freezer the one on the four sides four corners they're called uh, mini pumpkins or it called a wee bee little and we can uh, cook them and eat straight away they're very hard not like a soft like a normal pumpkin and also not that sweet and the one in the middle this is the indian cucumber dosa kaya first time i harvested uh, hyacinth beans or limo beans i don't know how they taste when i cook we, we tried few times from indian shop in the past but growing that allotment and then taste might be slightly different and uh, these are the dwarf uh, french beans different variety and these are dwarf and climbing french beans of purple color and the yellow color is again uh, dwarf french beans and these are uh, climbing french beans this is the golden purslane first time uh, i harvested it's overgrown actually i should have done it a month back maybe uh, i won't cook this yet so let's see how it goes finally the day has come to harvest this fellow i would say at least 5 uh, to 6 kilos i don't know i'm going to go on way all these are beautiful hopefully some of them will mature some of them will die anyway because of the weather and this fellow i need to harvest as well is going too big